I'm going to show you how I make pinto beans, one of our favorite foods. They're so delicious and they are so simple in the Instant Pot. This is how my beans, four cups of dried pinto beans, look after about eight hours of soaking. I usually soak them about 12 hours. So when I get these ready and get them ready for the Instant Pot, I will come back. These are the easiest pinto beans to make and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to rinse these off really well because they've been soaking about 12 hours and I'm going to toss them in the Instant Pot. I'm going to stir in four cups of water, one of these tubs of chicken stock, I really love these things, and two whole packets of this seasoning sauce, no MSG in there, it's just the kind we happen to like. And I'll show you what that looks like. These beans now I've rinse them really really well again and measure them just because I like to know. The four cups of dried beans turn into about nine cups of soaked beans after all that time. I've already put in here this blob of um, nor chicken broth. There it is. It's just like a little blob. I'm going to pour in four cups of water and I heat the water in the microwave just because then it doesn't take the instant pot so long to warm up. I don't know if you can really see the the water is just over the beans by a little bit not by a lot. Then I'm going to sprinkle in or pour in the two whole packs of the seasoning. I don't use a whole lot of water because I don't want to be left with a bunch of seasoned water to throw out and I have found over doing this many times since I got my instant pot that I kind of know how much water I should put in there and avoid the burnt beans or the beans not fully hydrated. This I'm just mixing it up a little bit. Honestly to make these pinto beans the hardest part and the most time consuming part is when you're, you've got the dried beans and you have to rinse them and wash them and rinse them and wash them and get them ready to soak. And then when they're soaked rinsing them and washing them and rinsing them and washing them, getting them clean enough to, to cook with. i just kind of picky about that. I put the pot into the Instant Pot and you can see what it looks like, just kind of tan colored soup. I'm going to put the lid on, seal it up, and then I'm going to press beans and chili but I set it for around 50 minutes. It's going to take quite a while now, but I'll get back to you and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Well, it's, they've been done for 51 minutes and the pressure just released. So I'm going to open her up and see what happens. All right, now you can kind of see they look very dry and like they might be burnt and I might have completely spoiled them. But if you stir them up, look at all the liquid that's down there. I'm just going to stir them all together. These are so good. We have bean dip nights. You can read about those on my blog if you want to. Um, tonight we'll just have refried beans. We'll, I'll fry them in a little pan. I'll put some sour cream and some grated cheddar cheese on top, some chips, and I fry them actually in a little olive oil. And then I'll put most of these in the freezer in which I will then thaw them out for future bean dip nights. See how incredible they look? Just pinto beans with some seasonings, very, very easy.